Good evening, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to RSF1's F5 division, coming to you live around the iconic Brazilian uh, circuit, Sao Paulo. Brazil is the venue, and we could potentially tonight be crowning our first champion in the league, I believe. I believe no one has been crowned yet after the races this week, but yeah, this could be our first official one in F5. Um, of course, we'll go over all the permutations for that, but this could be a very momentous race in the story of F5, and it has been a very interesting story um, in this championship. It may be the lowest division in terms of pace, but by God, they bring on the drama in the uh, the races they've had this season. It's been a thrill to watch. Uh, my name is Arisa from Bondo. Um Here again, hello, uh, obviously from F4 Monday. And I've got my uh, commentary partner from F4 on Monday also, Mr. Topnotch. So, uh, good evening, Topnotch. Thank you very much for stepping in uh, tonight. Um, yeah, change, change of scenery, I guess. Yeah, can't keep me away, mate. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Has anyone in the old stream yet? <laughs> Should be a fun one from F5. They always entertain, so look forward to it as always. Yes. Um, unfortunately, we do have 14 um, racing tonight, so they should, well, most are going to retire in this first um, session because everyone is due to go through to the next one. Um, but still, with 14 top notch, this is still going to be a good race, I reckon. Yeah, for sure. I'd just like to give a shout out to Timmer because I'd normally be uh, engineering Timmer tonight, so. Uh. Shame for Timmer. He's going to have to go about the legendary... Sac the sacrifices we make. Yeah, the sacrifices we make. I'm you sure, know, he might I'm win sure he'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. Um, but yeah, all good. Right. So Q1 underway. Let's hope, Top Notch, that nobody uh, crashes or retires in this. Those that are going out, because Oguna is coming out in the Haas. Let's hope they don't crash it because, as I said, we've got 14. We don't want too many less going in, going into uh, Q2 and then 3. So let's hope. But it's extra practice anyway. So Yeah, it's nice and dry for them. So they should be able to keep it on the road relatively simply. Mm -hmm. And of course, anybody who didn't watch uh, Monday's race... Um, oh, you missed quite an entertaining one. Three safety cars and that. All pretty much around uh, turn four and turn five section. They, those can very easily catch any driver route. Um, again, we could have something very, very similar top notch in, in this race. Let's hope. Um, let's hope not again. Let's hope well, everyone finishes. But yeah, this can be a very tricky track, can't it? Yeah, sure can. What I can remember from F4 was they had a pretty good start, really. There was one bit of wing, if yeah. I remember rightly. And then it kind of went downhill from there for them. So hope for better tonight from these guys. Yep. That's hard to keep the uh, safe, safety car off track around here, I think. Especially with the likelihood of a bit of rain. Yeah, potential. Um, I believe we have somebody racing in their very first race tonight, and that is Sim Racing 21. So all the best to him. He's in the Alpha tonight. Um, I believe he is a reserve. So yeah, this could be his first race as he all come round. So we've got two Haas. No, one Haas driver of Walguna. Um, we've got Renault of Elham, and we've got Kabuki and Timonike out in the racing point. All on their, I guess, practice laps. Yeah, Odgun is going to be the first one to cross the line. He's going to get a little toe off the racing point, maybe. Yeah, a tiny bit of a toe. He's hugging that late wall, off. which is what you need to do. 9-5 from five. Odguna. Not a bad lap from him to start, off at, to start us off. Well, what times are we expecting in, um, in F5, do you reckon, top notch? Um, F4 was in the 8s. Um, probably a high eight, I'd say. I wouldn't be surprised if a mid eight from any of these guys here, but I'd say probably high eight is probably good. Low nine. Yeah, I'd say a low nine maybe for the session. Someone want to just better it a little bit. 
potentially. Right, uh, shall we go over the championship table and the uh, situation we have tonight? As I said, we could be crowned, uh, crowning a champion. Yep, you sure can. Um, I'm going to go with uh, what I can see, and that's from 16th, unfortunately. And um, 16th was in the Haas of... Oh no, that's a vacant seat for some reason. Yeah. And then 14th is... Kabuki? In the yep. racing point? Kabuki. Kabuki on one point. And then in 13th position is Cosmic Cameron in the Ferrari on 15 points. And then 12th is El Ham, 44. In the Renault, 16 points. And then 11th place is RSF1 Albon in the Merc, 42 points. And then 10th position, Fish Sticks in the Williams on 44 points. And then 9th position in the Red Bull is Zombie Head on 72 points. And I lost where I am there because I clicked on it. Right. And 8th position is Tina. You're up to, yeah, you're up to Zombie the, Head. Yeah. Yeah, Toro Rosso on 84 points. And then just in front of him is RSF1 Louder in the Ferrari in 7th position on 97 points. And then Odd Guna in 6th position in the Haas on 111 points. And then 5th position Military Virus in the Williams on 117 points. And then 4th position is RSF1 Button in the Alpha 121 points. And then top 3. RSF1 Eagle, McLaren, 175 points, and then 9 points in front of him on 184 points in the racing point is Tim and Ike in 2nd position, and then 1st position, Cassie Babes in the Renault, 214 points. So a 30 point gap there. Thank you very much. Cassie's actually gone fastest at a 9-3. Uh, just ahead of Ogunu and now Eagle on a 9 of 5, the pair of them. So, early times set at the moment, all looking good so far. Um, and go through the constructors as well, please. Yeah. So, in 10th position is the Ferrari on 112 points. And then 9th position, Toro Rosso. On 118 points. Eighth position is the Merc. Mercedes team on 156 points. And then seventh position is the Red Bull on 182 points. And just in front of them is sixth position is the Racing Point on 184 points. And then fifth position is Alfa Romeo on 189 points. And then fourth position. McLaren, 194 points, so not much in it between these guys. And then top three, first of them in third position in Williams, 197 points. Second position is Renault, on a 284 points, so quite a jump there. And then in first position, Haas, on 311 points, with a gap of 27 points. Thank you very much. So in terms of the championship, so this is where we stand in um, everything at the moment. So Kazi Babe has a chance to clinch the title tonight. Simply put, this is the simplest scenario for him. If he finishes ahead of Timonike and RSF Ron Eagle, because those are his two challengers, he finishes ahead of both of them tonight, that's it, done. That's regardless whether it's 7th, ninth, the win, or anything else. If he's ahead of both of them, that's it, in any shape or form. Tim and Ike, this is where the complicated stuff comes. Tim and Ike, to keep the fight to Abu Dhabi in his favour, he must outscore Kazi Bay by at least 6 points. So he needs at least 7th place. And then obviously from there, uh, if even if Tim and Ike is 7th, then Kazi needs to be out of the points and then it goes up from there. I was if on Eagle who has just gone faster on a 9-2 his situation is a little bit more difficult. He has to outscore Kazi by 16 so he needs at least second. And even if he gets second Kazi 
needs to be 10th or lower. So ideally, Eagle needs the win and requires Kazi to have a very difficult race. Um, as for the Constructors, that can also be wrapped up tonight in F5. And Haas need to outscore Renault by a total of 18 points. And if they do that, they will be F5 champion as well. So there are your permutations. Of course, we will let you guys know if Kazi can be doing it or not. There's a big su big support in the in the chat at the moment. Uh, Lennox01. Good to see you good to see you tonight. Showing the big support for Kazi. He's starting to chant up already. So uh <laughs> definitely, but there is big support for all the drivers in this league. As we are we put up eight minutes to go as the practice session really of F1 continues. So if you were in if you were in Kazi's shoes, top notch, and you know you could win the title tonight, will you change your mindset going into this? Because he does he doesn't need to do anything specifically special, Kazi, does he? He doesn't specifically have to win really or even get on the podium. He's just got to make sure if he wants to sort it tonight, he's got to keep an eye on his two rivals. But is he going to be cautious? Or is he just going to drive flat out? What's probably the best thing to do? Oh, for, for sure he's got to drive a little bit more cautious. But, you know, if, if he changes style too much, then that's when mistakes will happen. He's been driving well lately from what I've seen. So, he's yeah. got to keep up what he's been doing and hope that he can have you know, that first clean lap. Yeah, if you can keep up the good work, I think we might see him our first champion crowned. Yep, yeah. well, there's Albon, so at least we're going to have 15. Albon's late to the show, about uh, about 8 minutes. 8 minutes late to the show, but he's here. He'll be sat in the back. As right on board of Elham in the Renault. So just looking at it, so we have only, only have one Haas driver here tonight, so Renault, they want to continue uh, going for the Constructors, they still need to have a good solid result, despite them being obviously one driver more. Elham, he's already done six laps on his soft, so he's going to be kind of careful, because they're very worn at this point. As you say, top notch, I've, I've watched F5 this season, Kazi, definitely these last... I think ever since we came past Hungary, kind of into Monza, Singapore has been driving very well this season. So if if he does, they all deserve it. Whoever wins will deserve it. But if he does, he's definitely earned it. Yeah, for sure. Oh, as Tim had a little spin there. Caught it well though. Yeah, for sure. Anyone that win it, it's uh, deserved for sure. Keeping it consistent throughout a season to get a championship is not easy. Anyone that's won one will tell you that. Oh yeah. Okay, I know you. I know you're supporting Lennox, but uh, supporting uh, Kazi there, Lennox. But saying that he's uh, he should complete an F1 in real life. Well, hmm, it's a little bit. I'm not saying he can't, but they've got a fair while to go. I mean, we're all quite far off from that at the moment. Yeah, by all means, if you think you can, why not? Let's watch Tim in this middle sector. Very difficult that middle sector. Yeah, you got a big slide. And the same as Elham, he's going a long way on these soft tyres. That yeah, sure has seven laps. Good bit of practice for him. Down Elham 43. 44 is quick from Brazil. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Yeah, I just saw that. Ah, oh, Tim, uh, invalid again. Yeah, run too far, run too far on that curb on the outside there. It's got a little that bit of a wobble. It doesn't matter so much in this one, but seemed to be struggling for sure. He was, he was uh, watching him a little while ago, and he did go purple in the first sector. Um, oh. yeah, but he keeps invalidating so. Seems to be struggling. I 
Right, so as far as the other tiers in the uh, league currently, obviously we've got F3 tomorrow. That still very much has a championship battle. We've got still five or six mathematically in it, I believe. Could be wrong, actually. Could be less than that. Um, then, obviously, we had the first of the potential... Well, the next championship decided, possibly in Abu Dhabi, on um, Sunday in F2. Obviously, you've got Pazina versus uh, Rapids, I believe, in that one. Um, then it goes back to F4, obviously. Our neck of the woods, top notch. Um, potentially could crown somebody on that uh, Monday. Obviously, you've got Maniac and Quaker Oats. Tor Rossa versus Red Bull. Yeah, them guys duking it out. They have been for a while now. Yeah. And obviously, after last night, uh, Dyslexic in the F1 apparently has almost all hands on the trophy with uh, him and uh, Unity Hush, but it's not over by any sort of sort of mean. And then You've got me tonight to stab them, unfortunately, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's uh, Br Brundle and Top Notch in the comms box tonight. Guide you through. Uh, yeah, just a few, few issues with people, uh, issues with people, um, various things. But we always have a good, we always have a good team that can jump in at any point. So it's covered, no matter what situation we have. But we are just waiting now until Q2, to be honest. Um, yeah, and gonna three be drivers to go. A bit. Clouds well, I can't see early days. And looking at them clouds, What's it's that? not very bright. It is. Yeah, it's starting to cloud over a little Same bit. Least. What I am saying at the moment with these early times is that our championship top three are in the top three positions. So they seem to be on it. They're pushing each other. What we like to see. Right, minute and a half to go, and I think that's going to be it. We'll just wait for these two Alpha Romeos ready to retire, then we can move on. Of course, reminder, once the Abu Dhabi races have been finished, we do have a couple of reruns to finish off in a couple of... T it's raining, actually! Oh, we've got a bit yep. of rain! sure is. Oh... That's going to throw oh, a right spanner in the works for Q2. That's what we're saying, Intermediate Q2. Yeah, I Ooh. think we've seen, we seen uh, F4 that it took a while, but yeah, the way that's coming down here, it looks like it will be Intermediate. You were right about those clouds. That yeah, called that one right. That was good. I think it was uh, Patronus that actually called the this, this sixty-five percent chance of rain on this track. So, good job, oh. Patronus. Yeah, as I was saying, we do have a couple of uh, reruns to do. Uh, we have uh, Austria in F two. That'll be on the Sunday as usual, and then the day after would be the very last race of this season, top notch. We have the honour of doing the very last race. It'll be Singapore for F4. Ugh, what, a, what a track to finish on. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be an eventful one, that's for sure. Yeah, let's hope let's hope we can end on a high. Obviously, um, it'd be nice to have a championship battle going into that, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. Right, end of Q1. Q2 could be very interesting with that rain coming down. Let's see what we're faced with. That's a shame in a way, because dry, they look quite close between the uh, first few people there. Yeah, I always like a bit of... Ooh! It certainly mm -hmm. is, intermediates. I like a bit of wet weather. It throws a spanner in the works for some of the guys that are a bit further down the grid. Maybe make a good call or good setup choice. See one of the lower guys have a good race. Right, see who's going to be one of the first out. Looks like a Ferrari there. 
through the pit crews. Getting the yep, car out. Cosmic. Who's going to be first out? Yeah, it's Mr. Cosmic. <laughs> Patronus. <laughs> Careful how you word that, Patronus. I did like it wet as well. Oh, Mr. So virus has just left. Could you, uh, uh, sure can. bring it back in, please? Thank you. Uh, they've got to be careful of the pit lane exit, actually, because it's very narrow. And uh, I think Cameron gave a little bit of a scrape as he came out there, but... Yeah, shout out to... Uh, Timmer's uh, better half. Hope, uh, hope they're okay, watching in hospital. Uh, watch this race. Where is Timur actually? He's about to head out in the pits. No, he's still in the pit lane. <laughs> I will take it as I wish, Patronus. I will take it. Right, so... The Torosso of uh, Beast Pro has actually got... Oh, Kabuki! What's happened there? Block the pit lane. Did you, um... Did you see that there, top notch? Yeah, I certainly did. I don't know. I didn't actually see the oh, car. He, done that? But... he must have spun it in there, I guess. Yeah, I think he might have. Oh, that's a shame for Kabuki. That's a shame for Kabuki there, but. And this. Right, Beast Pro. Um, Thomas, he used to be um, ISF Ron Ricardo or um, what other names has he had? Um, uh, Bottler, he used to be ISF Ron Bottler. Um, yeah, so he's had a multiple game of tags, but he's he's probably the same guy, pretty much. He's very gingerly taking it through the middle sector as he comes around the long right hand as hairpin. This, trick, this corner can be very tricky if you catch on the curb too much. Yeah, he's very cautious here. And then into the very last corner, which is. It's got an actual name for it, but it's in Portuguese, so I won't embarrass myself. Through this final corner, gotta run it not too Ooh. wide. <laughs> that was close. As it uh, crosses the line, 19.7. So early benchmark. I think there's an alpha or a button. 20.0. Zombie head, 20.1. Here comes a Renault. Yeah, Kazi. 19.5 already. That's a beast, beast pros on the time, really. Two temps off Kazi, babe. Yeah, I'm the that. house of Odguna. Beats it. Ah, oh, Kabuki, yeah. Did you did you spin it, Kabuki, in the pit lane? Or is it just, just stop dead or it or something? Uh Lennox one wants a bit of Kazi Cam, so here we go. Kazi Cam for half a lap, even though he's invalidated this one. You can have it for about three corners. And there we go, it's a Toro Rosso off as well. Looks like Tim Rothing got an outline. 19.5. Oh, at least the champion eight. contenders are still quite close. Yep, they sure are. We need them together on the front row. We just written that they need to be together. Right. Oh. That's, that's a weird one, Kabuki. Apparently you turned off the uh, pit lane limiter and it just stopped. I've never heard of that before. I yeah, have never heard of that one either. That's very unfortunate. I'm a slightly wide through turn one. It's, it keeps it clean for turn two. You've got to watch the curb on turn three, but he's alright. See how he takes turn four. The next corner up. Slightly 
Pretty wide as Virus gets a 19 2 in the Williams. He did get Kazzy Cam Lennox. It was on for like three or four laps. Not three or four laps, three or four corners. Oh, I'm sorry. I still onboarded Timmer. Got a Renner behind him, but Timmer is on a lap, so the Renault's got to uh, adhere to that. I think it is Gazzy behind him. Through towards the end of the lap. He's doing okay so far. Looks looks steady. He's going to give that Renault behind actually a pretty decent tow up the hill. Yeah, it sure is. Tricky corners get through on the intermediates, that one. Well, we're going to go side by side. Because he's got a little bit of a slipstream there and actually goes actually goes faster. For 19-1, so... Assisted luck there from uh, Timber to Kazi. Oh, Ogguna right in the 18s, though. Just, but... Times 18, are tumbling down. 9-9-9. Nine, nine, nine. That's not the first time I've seen that this season. I dare, I dare, uh, I dare him to do that lap again. Bet he can't. There's Webster. I bet Webster could tell me how many times we've seen it this season. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jay Locker and the McLaren. McLaren this week, because obviously he's uh, dropped to reserve in F5. 21-4. That's 11th. I think, by the looks of it, top notch, unless the this track dries up, I think we're going to have to get to the 19th to be going through. Yeah, definitely. See if Timmer's on improvement. Yeah, half a second improvement from Timmer. Oh, slides the car. Shucks the car into the final corner. Rain seems to be the same, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be changing much. Oh, God. Okay. Kazi into the 18s as well. Tim was slightly improved to 22 flat. Oh, Beast Boat's gone. Oh, he thinks that's safe. That's... That could be risky there from Beast Pro, do you reckon? That could yeah, be the risky. Times are, times are getting quicker. Military Virus almost in the 17s. Slow mover of J Lock getting out of the way. Good job there, mate. J Lock has had an interesting F5 season. All started in Australia when he was on for the win, two corners from the end, and he uh, he lost it. And uh, gave uh, Tim and Ike the win in that very first race. Way back in, I can't even think what month it was. It was way back last year, actually, I think. Is that about right? Was Australia was about last year? I believe so, yeah. Towards the end of yeah. last year, yeah. Can someone figure that out for me in the chat, actually? When was the first race? Like, in real real time? What month What was it? It definitely seems a long time ago. Eagle Purple set to two. He's currently on a 20-point flat, so he definitely needs to improve. Timmer improves quite a bit there by seven tenths. Still five tenths off tenth position. Still needs to find quite a bit. Oh, Eagle. Nice. 18.5. Definitely a lot safer now. January? Can't be. Can't be January. No, I meant... I was thinking about real life. I meant in this league. I meant in the league. Not in real life. That's what I meant. So it's, got, it's got something it's January. Be January? I can't think. Be, no, definitely can't be January. 20 weeks ago. What was 20 weeks ago? <laughs> That's a good one for Charles. <laughs> Not helping. Sim Racing, by the way, has gone to 6 on a 19.3, so Sim Racing's... That rain looks... Look at the rain now, actually, on more than one of the cars. 
Yeah, it does look that a lot looks worse almost than full it wet. did. Chucking it down. Might have full wets in Q3. That could definitely shake things up. Zombie heads gone third into the 18s as well. Tim is definitely struggling. I think by the looks of that rain, we're going to have to get the times in very quickly, guys. Running a little bit wide there, Timmer. Yeah, chucking it down now. Ooh, zombie head clipped the pit wall as he come in. Oof. He's in third position. And military virus, first one to put the wets on. Yeah, definitely look like wet conditions now. Team and team reveals was in the January the 12th. Apparently. Race is starting January 19th. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, it must have been January if it was 19, 20 weeks ago. Jeez. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna we're gonna get almost monsoon conditions in Q3 by the looks of it. Yeah, it's gonna make things very interesting. Top ten. Evening, guys in the chat. Evening to member of the cash Scotsman. And uh, a yep, number one fan apparently. Lennox. Jonas, Stappen, I saw as well. 26 views so far as Timmer goes right over the curb. Ugh. Actually, Tim Timmer is doing the right thing. He's doing multiple laps on these uh, tires, but you can see the standing water now. Re he's really throwing the car around. Even in four. Oh, yeah, four. Even four, mate. Uh, Virus is get military virus is going to get a last lap in the wet. So that's very risky, considering especially if you drop it because you're already fastest. Yeah, it's coming into the pits. Unfortunately, Jay Locker and Timmer, who are both on laps, I don't think they're going to improve with this. I think it's too wet now. Cameron's out as well, in 11th, in the Ferrari. Any Mr. Roberts? Hashtag Alpha. Yeah, Elham, full wet. You're right, mate. <laughs> yeah. It looks more than full wet to me. Looks like you need to get your swimming goggles out. Like. Ooh, Timmer. A bit of drifting around there. He likes, throwing, he likes throwing the car, doesn't he? Certainly does. Oh, he's going to be starting 12th. Well, I like to it. Big slide you turn. To catch that. What's that? Turn 6. <laughs> I think he's having a bit of fun. He's having fun. Yeah. yeah. He, knows, he knows people are watching. Right, here we go. Go on. Go on. Fifth competition. Oh, louder as well. Oh, Mr. Louder. We are going to have 16. Good. Yeah, lock is done. <laughs> and Timmer. <laughs> um, I must say, Love I'm it. impressed with these sliding skills from Timmer. Tim and Ike, if you're watching, we need some memes. We need some memes on this. Here we go. Twelve for Timmer. Yeah, look at it now. Goodness me, that has that has changed quite quickly in like ten minutes. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. oh what's, what's happened with Timmer? Oh, just a little bit too no. much throttle. You know what I'd love, right? In like the next F1 game, I don't think they're going to do it, but what I'd like is. Have you ever watched the 2003 Grand Prix around here? 
around Brazil. I'm sure where I Where they have, had yeah. the, the the river, where they had the river of um, river of water through turn three, and you had about four or five cars, probably more than that actually, fly off of that race. It's the one yeah. where Fisk Keller won um, in the Jordan. But uh, the stewards messed up the results because they originally gave the win to Raikkonen because they didn't count back a lap. Strange race. I would I would love that in the F1 game actually with the uh, the weather physics, the water, where if you go over like a puddle, um, you got no grip at all, and it's just the wheels are just spinning. Yeah. Like, um, oh, do you remember Germany, uh, real life, where they, whenever a car went over that drag strip, they had no grip at all. Yeah. Like Leclerc and uh, Hamilton slid over that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was a good race. It was a very good race. <laughs> all right, so here we go. At least in the race, they get to choose their... Uh, what tyre they want to start on, so that could be interesting. See who, what uh, tyres people go for. Here we go, rapidly changing qualifying session. But uh, yeah, take us through uh, the results there, top notch. So, unfortunately, um, P11, Cosmic Cameron, first to go out, and then uh, 12th, Timmer, the drift expert there and then 13th Jay Locker and then disqualified in the pit lane was Car Boogie I think Car Boogie and then top three Boogie, yeah. was top three was third position Zombie Head in the Red Bull second position RSF1 Eagle in the McLaren and first Military Virus in the Williams thank you what conditions are we going to have in Q3? This could really shake things up if it's monsoon still. Oh, we're back to... Oh, we're back to intermediates again. Fair enough. Definitely rapidly changing, which also means could either get drier or wetter. At this point, that even is a word. That is a word. You know what I meant? <laughs> right, here we go, here we go. Who's going to be the first out? He's prone to Toro Rosso. Actually, that rain... Looks like it's, uh... No, it's just me. Immediate. Might have dried towards the end, actually. Right, so he's probably net. So in terms of the championship leaders, top notch, they've uh, done the first step really is to get through to Q3. Uh, both Tim and Ike, Igor and Kazi, have done the first step. But now this is this is where the most important thing is. They got to still qualify well in this top ten. Yeah, for sure they want to be as uh, pardon me high up as possible, really have that edge over your competition only a couple of races left to go so not too many opportunities to close at night mm -hmm. I think we're going to get dry towards the end of this this uh, track seems to be drying up by the looks of it <laughs> like to very take unpredictable all over the place throw on a lap mate yeah do you want to take take it for it he can do if you want to I'm not fast I'll go for it. You go for it. You go for it. I, I, I did uh, it on Monday. You go for it. Very tricky breaking into turn one in these conditions. Uh, did well to keep a check on the back end. Um, very hard to get a nice exit out of this one. Got a car coming out of the pit lane there. Sim racing. And uh, spot your breaking just after the 100 meter board for that one. You keep the check at the back end through there. Very easy to lose it off these curb curbs through hairs. We're seeing earlier races in the week. And through this right hander, it's all about just trying to keep the car in check and spot that braking zone. 
straight you can keep the car the better it does a good job of it it's got to kind of roll through this one try and get the power down without sliding too much it does a good job of it same for this one just the opposite direction you've got to get a really good exit and try and keep all of your momentum through this left hand there break as late as you dare for this one and your exit from this one's really important you can really exit and as we're seeing this one in the intermediates can lose the back end but it does a really good job of keeping it gets a little bit of the curve on the left and across the line in the 18 18 6 from beast pro yeah thank you very much it's a tidy solid lap from beast pro in the for rosso zombie head crosses the 19 one it's going to be difficult really to see what is a good lap because I feel like these conditions here are going to be ever changing Kazi as yeah Kazi buttons invalidated nice. so Eagles next 18-7 from Eagle oh sim racing's gone oh yeah I see that I just caught the end Halfway of that up to oh middle of the track oh zombie oh. headed to pull out of the way there Getting bored with Kazi, is he going to notice in time? Yeah, should do. <laughs> to validate his lap though, but... Ah, oh, Sim race in his first race and he's... Dropped it. Oof. Halfway through turn five, he must have... Uh, bought the curb at turn five, turn five, I think. Right, so... Top looking good, here comes Minato Virus in the Williams. He was looking good in the intermediate earlier. Oh yeah, just sneaks ahead of Kazi. 18-4 as well. Very nice from Virus, loving these conditions by the looks of it. Button in the 19th, 20.0, 7th. Missed out on them 19s. Eagle cross but didn't improve. He's gone for a, a slow lap and then back out again. It's like your way through turn two though. You gotta, you definitely gotta hook up those first few corners. Again, the track seems seems to be getting drier. Yeah, it looks to be a lot better than it was in Q2, that's for sure. Especially, yeah, especially at the end of Q2, it was chucking it down. And look, you can see the sun peeking through. Right, so Williams coming through again. It's a virus, but he's down in his time. He's going to go again. One to watch the zombie right. head, mate. Coming across the line Ooh, now. Yeah, he's miles he's up. Oh, he takes it. 18 free. As he babe, a little bit down on his time. I'm going to now gonna start his lap. Right, keep on board. Odd going in nicely through turn one or two. A little bit sideways too far through turn three. Okay, was he gonna set first sector? Probably anything in the yeah, 19 one. Good. Turn four misses the apex though, go wide. Just keeps it inval keeps it valid, but would have lost a bit of time. Gonna carry the speed through backed out of it or just got bogged down. No, I think he's carrying on. Keeping it in hot laps, so maybe it's still a it doesn't seem to be going a hundred percent now. Let's see. Needs to be further in the throttle. Virus in the seventeens now. Seventeen nine from Basket. Virus, that's a good lap. 
validates this next one. He's he's doing as well as a few others are doing exactly the right thing. You need to be out doing laps as Kazi improves, but goes second. As I think Guna was on an 18.7. Yeah, I think he can go quicker than that. Yeah, doing multiple lap stop notch, I think is the best strategy around here, don't you think? When it's yeah, when it's wet, is. just do just do lap after lap, you just get more confidence. And improve to a 19.5. El Ham is uh, not out yet. Is the rain easing off top notch, or is it around the same? I'd say that's about less. the same. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Need to really go in somewhere. Nah, it's about the same. So when you go to the pit lane, still about the same. Oh, late call well, on the pit there from military virus. Justin Bate made it. Yeah, it's something at the moment. Tim and Ike stand in seventh place at the place at the time. Not where he needs to be. Especially with Kazi in second. He needs to get... Uh, actually, ideally, he needs to be ahead of him. Or at least needs to keep an eye on him. And P7 will not be good. So this will be a crucial lap for Tim and Ike. Eagles just gone to second. 18-2. At the moment, nobody can touch the 17 of uh, Military Virus, so Virus looking uh, good at the moment, but... And I think this is changing. Elham again. Elham is leaving this very late, isn't he? Yeah, he sure is. Nice first set to Tim and Ike. Only slight improvement though, but it's the middle and last set so you can make big, big gains. And he's taken turn four very nicely. And through turn five and six, just clips the apex. Don't run too much over that curb. Oh, it's the belt. Throw it all down. Then having. Keeping up the momentum for the middle set to Zombie Head. I think has gone up to fourth. Everyone is all improving. Oh, a bit of a wobble from Tim and Ike. He's up. He's up, though. This is good. Only up by four cents, so it's got to be a mighty last sector. See what he can do. He's got to get in the 18s. Wow, stay 7th. Bit of an improvement, but stay 7th place. Ooh, and Elham is... Elham is going to leave it to one lap. Well, good luck. The opposite of what I'd suggest to do in the web, but... Here you go, he's leaving it all on, all on the money. Is invalidated. Zombie head doesn't improve. Yeah, both Renaults. One more lap. This is it. Who's going to take pole position? Eagles just about going to get to the line. It won't be Alguna. Alguna is done. He is in the pits, so he's fifth at best. Beast Pro goes 18-4. 18-9. So who's going to be next? Tim and Ike. Is he up? No, he's not. Is he going to make the time? Mm, I don't think he's going to make the line. Nope. No. He doesn't make it. So P7 for Tim and Ike. Virus is down. Is six temps down yet. Anybody challenging? Will be zombie head. 
at Kazzy. Kazzy's a tenth up. He's only just a little bit up. I don't think he's going to do it. Keep on board of Kazzy. He's got Eagle ahead of him. Can he get ahead of Eagle? No, stays third. What about Elham? Right behind. Ninth for Elham. Beach pros into the pit. Button is Down the button. up on his time. Right, the last minute Run goes seventh ahead of Tim and Ike. On the line. Alright, so there we have it. Military virus takes pole position of 17 9 ahead of Eagle, is going to be on the front row alongside him. Kazzy Babe, championship leader, potential champion in this race, but still got the race to go. He starts third, just ahead of Zombie Head. Tim and Ike in eighth place. I don't think he's going to be very happy with that, but as I said, the race is still yet to run. Oof. Well, that was a interesting qualifying, wasn't that, Top Notch? That was all over the place. Yep, sure was. <clears throat> Very close in these guys. Top eight, covered by six tenths. And not bad, considering intermediates as well. Sim racing. Obviously, shame we didn't see what he could have done, but... Obviously, first race, he's in the Q3, so... All good from him. Tim and Ike in eighth. As he and then Eagle, so. Yeah, very good stuff. And we've, we're yet to be told whether it was a dry. Was it, whether it's going to be a dry race or not. So let us see. Right. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I thought <laughs> the chat the chat sparking up just whether Kazzy Babe is a male or female. He is definitely hmm. male. Yep, definitely is. Right. So here we go. Potentially a crowning moment for Kazzy if he can get the result that he needs. And to be potentially be crowning our first champion in the league. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, at least we at least we have sixteen now, so definitely should be entertaining from these guys. But who's going to keep their who's going to keep their concentration the most? Because as we've seen on well, Monday, top notch. This can. Uh, this track can bite at drivers if they don't respect it. They will respect the curbs, respect each other, but also respect the curbs and the track limits. So, but keep it out of the way. Kenny, very short run down to turn one as well. Let's hope they can keep it clean as well. I'm sure they will. Just gonna get a drink quickly, Brundle. Are they ready? Yep. Yeah, no worries. All right, sorry to hear that, Kabuki, if um, that's the issue there. Yeah, if the pedals aren't, aren't working, then that's a real that's a real shame, mate. But I hope to see you in Abu Dhabi next week. Ah, oh. the, the racing points aren't getting the luck for, out of the pit lane, are they? Because, uh, yeah, Junior had that thing, in, thing on Monday out of the pit lane, so... Seems to be a reoccurring thing. Um, that's a quit without affecting the race. Um, uh. don't know really. Dashboard, yeah, dashboard. I guess I think is the best way. 
Um, I don't think your car was... Yeah, dashboard now. Before um, before the formation episode is my... I think. But that's a real shame, Kabuki. But uh, see, you next, see you next week on the track, though. Hopefully the... It should be... It should be fixed. Oh, that's a real shame. I can get Kabuki back in. No, 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 no. His uh, his pedals aren't working. Oh, that's uh, that's oh. purposely. That's unfortunate for Kabuki. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it, Kabuki. Uh, we can watch the race if you want. Um, if that's how you feel, just relax. Up to you, but we're waiting quite a while for uh, the lobby host. Uh, there we go, Tim and I. Right on time. Get this F5 party started. All right, here we go. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Are we going to crown a champion tonight? What do you reckon is going to be another twist? I think there's going to be another twist. Ah. Definitely a safety car. Yeah. All right, here we go. Do you want to take us through formation lap? Yeah, can do. So, starting from the back, unfortunately, we didn't see him do a qualifying lap, these two. Uh, RSF1 Louder and RSF1 Album, 15, 16, respectively. And then 13th position, J Locker. And then McLaren. And for a second. <laughs> and then in 12th position, Timmer in the Toro Rosso. Go on, Toro Rosso. And then 11th position in the Ferrari, Cosmic Cameron. And then 10th position in the Alpha Sim Racing. Unfortunately, we see him crash out in qualifying and then ninth position Al Ham in the Renault and then eighth position Tim and Ike the mean man himself in the Pink Panther and then seventh position RSF1 Button in the Alpha and then sixth position Odd Guna in the Haas and then fifth position Beast Pro in the other Toro Rosso and just in front of him, fourth position, Zombie Head in the Red Bull. And then Kazzy Bay, the first one. Important uh, start for him today in the Renault, third position. And then RSF1 Eagle in the McLaren, second position. And then Pole Sitter today in the Williams, Mercury Virus. Thank you very much. So in terms of tyres, obviously everybody on fresh tyres because obviously the intermediate conditions. Uh, mediums for Com Cosmic Cameron, Timmer, Albon and Lauda. Obviously they'll be hoping to stay with the pack or maybe an early safety car to bring them into the race. But here we go, 36 laps around the Sao Paulo circuit in Brazil. Very short run down the turn one. Let's hope everybody can keep it clean before going into it as we go to three, four, five lights for F5 and away they go. Decent start from Military Virus. The Red on the inside of Eagle making it free wide potentially. A zombie head on the inside of Eagle. As they all filter through turn one and two, there's a Red on the inside of Kazi. Uh, but they're all keeping it relatively clean. Yes, we're all through nicely. So very nicely done from F5. And uh, Zombie Head is lunging it on the inside of uh, Kazi for third, but cannot make it stick. As, oh, there's contact! And there's a. Oh, Beast Pro. Run. Oh, oh, it's a huge, major. huge crash. <coughs> Five second oh. penalty for El Ham. How's that a virtual? Oh! <laughs> What's that front wing that fell from the sky? Right on top of Elbon. Oh, Beast Pro out on the spot. How is that a safe virtual? Several cars of damage. We only lost one car out of all of that. El Helm with no front wing. <laughs> big contact. Very big contact. Did anybody, did anybody <laughs> see that front wing fall right on top of Albert's car? 
I'm getting for more bit. And it's me. Oh, Beast Pro. It's just like, again, it was turn 4 and 5, wasn't it? Same as Monday. Sure was. Oh, they're gone. Oh, the Red Bull. Oh, the Red oh. Bull. What's happened here? They collided. Tommy and Kazzy. Wow. What's happened now on the restart? Oh, Tim has lost it. Sim racing with a five oh. second penalty. Oh my god. Carnage. What has happened? What has happened there? It's all technically only lost um, three cars, so. Oh dear. Yeah, it's, it's not a restart, I'm afraid, but. That looked like just a Kazzy complete Bay. misunderstanding. It's out. Zombie head and Kazzy just, yeah, misconf. Right. Lennox. Just uh, calm it down in the chat, please. Oh, I'm not getting chat, unfortunately, for some reason. Yeah. I'm only now getting... Yeah, calm it down. Calm it down in the in the chat, Lennox. We've got stewards for that just in case, but the race still needs to carry on. And indeed it will carry on. Drama right at the start. Beast Pro with that virtual safety car. Then on on the, the restart, Kazzy and Zombie Head out on the spot. <laughs> well, you were right about the twist. They're top notch. Bit of a commentator's curse. But, uh, wow, that's really put a spin on this now. Right, so. And unfortunately has spread out a few drivers. Cameron has still got damage with Timmer and they're, mild, they're 23 seconds behind. <sighs> Goodness. Right, so back. Back with the tyres again. Virus leading just ahead of Eagle. They got a couple of seconds over, over good. It has spread out unfortunately. Yeah, Eagle chasing down Military Virus. The big winners out of that is Jay Locker and Albon up eight places each. Mm -hmm. Remember, with the championship situation, Kazi, despite retiring, he can still win the championship tonight. But they, he's got to require Eagle to be lower, uh, third or lower, Tim and Ike to be seventh or lower. So, still not over for Kazi if he wins uh, to win tonight, but still. Goodness. Oh, we got Tim up. There's a lap down. Yeah. Phil Very Bath nicely gets out of the way. Does a good job. Yeah. Good job, mate. Right, so in terms of position gained, well. Really because of the drama, we've got Albon, Lauda and Locker up loads of places. Lennox, Lennox please in the chat. Right, nobody takes out anybody on purpose, so stop suggesting that. And f yeah, thank you so many time timed him out. Oh, oh Guna, right behind Timmer. Let's get out of the way there. Yeah, just that bit of traffic's allowed Military Virus to get a little bit of a gap. Again to Eagle. Cosmic Thank you. Thank on you the for back Sim Racing. Oh, yeah. Battle heating up between these two. Heating the battle is about a second between. Uh, the battles as it stands, but coming now. Set stream, not close enough to uh, sim racing this time out. But Eagle is starting to close back in on Virus. The military Virus is still in control of this, but Eagle watching his every move. Hey, Locker had a good start. It's come up behind Button as well. Yep, well said, Patronus, mate. 
military virus done a really good job to keep RSF1 Eagle at bay. Yeah, I can feel though that Eagles are slightly more comfortable at this stage, doesn't he? Slightly more quicker. Pass him now. Locker behind Button. He's got Tim up. Head him up a little bit, but. Behind, we've got Elham on uh, Cameron as well. Big opportunity for these for these guys now that with the diminished uh, grid a little bit for these these guys to score good good points. Sure is, yeah. Just wondering what happened to Cosmic Cameron because he was pretty close to sim racing about a lap ago, and now he's getting challenged by Elham. So I think he's made a mistake somewhere. He's on soft tyres, so. On soft tyres at the moment, it seems to be uh, struggling all oh, right over the kerb. It's a time penalty for his trouble, so Elham is all over him. I think it's safe to say, I don't think uh, Cameron uh, likes this track very much because he seems to be struggling with the pace. Does he have damage? No, no. He had, he had damage on that first uh, lap or so, but it has bitter for it. Yeah, it does have damage, front right. Oh, he does! Place. What did he get damage for? Well, Ham's all going to be in the slipstream. And... Yeah, easily done, yeah. The reason why he's struggling. Right, so Elham back into the points, into 10th place. J-Lock, they're looking to make a move on Button. Button made a bit of a mistake there. I've just realised as well that with this situation, currently, the Constructors is actually perilous, perilously close for Haas to win it. But Ogguna needs to be in second place. He needs to get to second and then Elham out the points. And that is very close to being wrapped up. Yeah, very close. Two battles to look at. Eagle and j Rock though. Both the yeah. McLarens. The Eagle's now... A little bit fed up of uh, seeing the defuse of the Williams. He wants to get ahead of it now. Obviously, Eagle now will be thinking, you know, if I win this race, that puts me in a very good position still for the championship. Yeah, that sure does. We've got Eagle on the, with the run. Not going to be close enough for nah, this one. He wants to get a good run out of her uh, two and three potentially, but Virus absolutely nailed it. Two, two and three, so Virus stays ahead for now. Now Gun is still there, and you've got Tim and Ike of the racing, the race point at Tim and Ike still in contention. Baylock is still putting Bunnan under pressure, but can't find a way through. No, must be frustration, it's creeping in a little bit. Must be horrible seeing that car in front of you and knowing that you're just that little bit quicker but you can't get past. Definitely solid stuff from Jay Lockers, but it's qualifying well behind him. Even not that far behind the uh, race point of Tim and Ike as well. If you can get past, past Bud, whoa, big lag. From button jumping about a bit. As again, uh, Eagle. Eagle closes up, but not close enough. Here again. 
Uh, mili military virus seems to have turned that uh, section of corners nailed down top notch because he's always getting enough of a gap through turn on the run to turn four. Yeah, that's right. J Lock has got the run on button. What side is he going to pick? Inside he picked. Oh, no, I made the moon stick, but he goes wide. And that lets button back through. You see a bit of a little camera angle. Lag spike there from Button. I think it's I think it's just in just in general, just think but oh buttons well wide, don't stick your nose in their locker. Off. Right. Back up to Eagle who's lost a little bit on military virus. It sure has. Meanwhile, Jay Lock has got a really good run on button this time up the straight. Maximum attack, overtake DRS. On the outside. Oh. Side by side through one. He's got the position for two now, but. Oh, oh contact. Oh no! Button slight side. Slightly sideways. Walker gets it. There was contact involved, but I think he was through. It was just a connection of tyres, by the looks of it. Locker now into fifth. After start. Where did he start? Where did he start? Just change up eight. Yeah, third, 13th he started, I think. Who's going to blink oh, first wow. on the soft tyres? Big <coughs> slide for military virus. That was a horrible run at last corner. Might give Eagle the chance again. Right, see if Eagle can nail this section of corners. But again, can virus get the gap? A little bit, but Eagle did it a bit better. It definitely has got a run. Whether it's going to be enough, I don't know. Nah. Still too far back. It just lit it. They're not really... Not really gapping Guna. Guna ki seems oh. to be keeping the gap to the uh, front two. It's been sat there for ages. Eagle now right up the gearbox. This is as close as he's been. Oh! Oh! Oh, they both ran on the curves, but Eagle... Eagle nearly went into the back of Virus there. That was close. Yeah, Ogun is not out of this. It is... Casually waiting there. Tim and Knight the first to pit though. From third place. Fourth place, sorry. Yeah, might find himself with a good advantage down from fresh tyres. Get some good Williams. laps in. Was oh, he got a hold? Oh no, that was just a bit of a jump. <laughs> Jeez, camera. What is that? What on earth is that camera about? Steady cam and all that. Again! Get it get it out of it, please. Thank you. Timmer with a three second oh. time penalty. Oh, what that camera is all about, but anyway, Tim and Ike. Mediums to the end should be easy enough. At yeah, twenty twenty one laps on mediums, yeah, should be easy. Come out just behind Album, that's not what he's going to want. He's going to want a clear Album as soon as possible. And these front guys stay out for another lap. Oh, Vote, Military Vote's clipped the grass a little bit. That's not going to help with his run. But again, he's just getting. Even yeah, if it's no, half a car. He does that. He gives that 
grass a little clip every now and then, but he still gets away with it. For, for, for whatever reason, maybe he's just more confident through turn one and two. He just gets, even if it's half a car length, just enough. So, so Eagle cannot lunge it into turn four. And these two locked in, and again, what, do you reckon Ogona may think of an undercut here? Yeah, he might, might to close well do. The gap. With these two battling. It's a good battle so far. Oh, good exit from Eagle. Uh, is any of them going to pit, though? Nope. Not this lap. So this is the battle here. Is Eagle going to lunge it? What a massive, what a massive run he's got. No. Can he get it through turn one and two? No. Oh, this is this this is the best chance he's got. Best chance he's had. All race, middle of the road defense from military virus, but into the inside goes Eagle. And all oh, side by side, keeps careful it guys. On the inside. Oh, yes. Just Meanwhile, edges in front. Oguna and J Lock are both pitted. And Tim and I coming on the back of Albon. <laughs> oh. He's too nose to tail. Good racing from the power of them. I could have very easily ended in tears, but they gave each other just enough room. So as he said with Tim and Ike, it's come up right behind Albon, it's not what he wants. Yeah, he has a 26 Eagles second in. gap military virus to Tim and Ike. Don't know what a pit stop is around there, we're going to find out. Eagles in, medium tyres easy, but interesting enough, virus stayed out. Yeah, Virus did. Goes Tim and Ike on the back of Albon. Tim and Ike's got a clear Albon. And, oh, Albon let him go. Fair enough. It's like Albon let him go there through uh, turn one. So, Tim and Ike back into fourth place. Eagle back out in second place. Clear air in front of him, so ah, the virus is going to have to react. Yeah, it's going to have to be less that, I would feel. It's going to be very close between them. Let's see. Yep, in he goes. Okay, let's. Oh, just about stopped it in time. It's going to be very close between these race leaders. Right on board of Eagle. I would think Eagle would jump him because the undercut is so strong. Let's yeah, see. Clean run. There's the Williams and on the inside. inside. This is going to be very close. Oh, oh! Got to run out of it. Eagle's just, got just I think. Down. Yes. Oh, only just. Virus with the fresher tyres though, he's going to be able to come back at him. J Lock with a three second time penalty. Albon and Tim and Ike switching positions. That was got past Tim and Ike. Tim and Ike must have made a mistake. Military virus all over the back of Eagles. This battle's by no means over. Guna's still there. Guna is still very much there. If anything happens between these two... Oh, it's got a good run. Here we go. Eagle, middle of the road. Yep, we know that military virus likes these 
sequence of corners, so it's probably going to be aiming to get a good run out of here. She has. Got Cosmic it's coming out front. of the pits. That's that set to three. Now Marin's lap cut. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's the belt. Hiked out the way. Ooh. Virus right at the back. Eagle least. I don't think Eagle has it in him or has the pace to get out of the DRS of um, Virus here top notch. So I think we're stuck here and that's not a good exit at the last corner. This is going to be a good run. Yeah, this is the closest military's been for the last couple of laps. It's just going to have to pick what side. Ooh, side by side, one. Ooh. Horrible camera. Oh, no! Yeah. Oh, contact. contact! Eagles round! Eagles round. Oh, this all ended in tears. Ooh, and he's dropped Eagle. behind Tim oh, and Ike. Yeah, he hit Albon there. That's not good for him at all. Oh, Virus! Actually, virus has lost Virus it. is out! No! He just taken the lead! Turn four again! Virtual safety car! Uh, Patronus, can you. Thank you. A virtual safety car virus! Military virus out of it! Thank you, Patronus. Oh! Has <laughs> raised to turn on his head. Oh, Goon is now in the lead. Yeah, you said uh, earlier, yeah, if Goon sticks sticks around and anything happens between them two, then he's going to take the lead, and that's exactly what he's done. Yeah. Goodness me. <laughs> I mean, you you wanted drama top notch. You got it. As uh, Alban's yeah. having a go back at. Uh, Tim and Ike. This is not what Tim and Ike needs. Albanu's yet to pit on his medium tyres. It's given Tim and Ike a lot of hassle. Yeah, it sure has. Albon goes a bit wide. Tim and Ike's going to have the DRS. Thinks about it. Oh, oh Cameron's Cameron. out. Oh, careful. Oh. oh! Jesus Christ! Surely that's a safety car. Surely. No? Oh, Cameron's out in the Ferrari, so... Not a good time for him, but... But what it does mean, it's a good time for Timmer, because he's in the points. Yeah. Continue, he gets and a point. gonna get a point, at least. Ah. Uh. Even though Eagle's not giving up on this. Worst race he's probably ever had, you know. <laughs> and he's still going to get a point. He's going to be happy with that, surely. Right, Albon. Into the pits, finally, after those 20 laps in the mediums. He's now going to be flying on those softs. But if I remember rightly, 23 points. As it stands now with that change, as it stands, if Guna stays in the lead and Ham stays in ninth, Arsenal Constructors champions. He's got 15 laps to keep hold of this hold of this win, and if he does it, Haas will be champion. We got that at the moment. Eagle's not giving up on Tim and Ike. Get back Don't in the second. In. Oh, definitely in. Needs a good run. She don't think he's got that. Oh, getting closer. 
Closer. No, no, he wants to run out of turn one and two, which is good actually. A Timonike again. I, I think it's the fact that Eagle's not very confident through that section. Because Timonike's gapped him a little bit as well. Button stays in third, but this is Albon now. He's got past Louder, and he's now up behind sim racing and sim racing is yet to pit on 20 lap old mediums yeah good stint by sim racing oh Ham. ham's gone well well that's it now i also pretty much i say pretty much got it they could still but tim is into ninth tim says thank you very much why is he retired he was in ninth place still yeah, I believe that was in the pit. That's a weird one. That's a very... Oh, no Eagle's off! Eagle's yeah, Eagle spun it. Is. How's he done that? Did he make con... No? Did he make contact with Tim and Ike or something? Not so sure, Eagle's man. gone. Button's going to have a run on him. Oh, it's all falling apart for Eagle right now. Alban sets the fastest lap. Sim Racing is in. This, this race doesn't want to stop with the drama, does it? Doesn't want to calm down. Please calm down. All right. So, Lock is in deferred, by the way. What a great race from him. Position change, yeah, lock up 10 places. I mean, yes, others have even spun, fallen off, etc., but take nothing away from him. He's uh, kept it on the road, kept his head. Yeah, consistency is key. As it stands, Eagle will be out of the championship reckoning he needed at least 16 points so the gap will not be enough it will be gone for the championship if it stays as it is but Guna getting time penalties he yep, needs that win help him. I shall look at them shortly see where we stand with them currently as it stands Tim and Ike is doing enough to take the championship to Abu Dhabi he stays in that second. Lap 24, still 12 laps to go. Still, still a potential safety card to throw everything else in the mix. Guna. He's had, he's had a good race. He's, uh, again, that word consistency. Five places as well, it's just running his own race, it's all good. Closest battle on track is between Button and Eagle. Button again, I don't think he can get close enough. And they've still got Album behind on soft tyres, closing in on, on them rapidly. Yeah, he's going to be fast on them soft tyres. And uh, Button's just fell out of DRS. Of Eagle. How does him? 23, 24 laps on medium, so again, he'll be very fast on those softs. Is he going to get out ahead of Sim Racing? Who sets the fastest lap? <laughs> so, great debut race for Sim Racing, actually. All the drama happening around him. Seven for the moment. Gets the header louder. They got Timmer in ninth place, who's again done really well. The fact that he's just, just stayed in could have very could have very very easily retired in the position he was in. But the yeah, fact he, he hasn't sure could have. We 
get some points out of it. That's the main thing. Just keep keep around, and you never know. Yep. Yeah, two points. Not good no, at the moment. It's just casually extending his lead to Timonite. He's got almost ten seconds ahead. Timonite is apparently listening to the radio in his car, according to Junior. <laughs> what song's on at the moment? Locker in third. I think closest battle on track is really between Eagle and Button, but I feel Eagle is keeping it uh, in control over Button. Alban is catching slightly. It's down to five seconds, but. Apart from that, nothing else much happening. No, not really. But unable to get in that DRS, that would really help him out if he was able to do that. <laughs> I must leave it to the stewards, as always. Stewards will decide on everything from this race, really. So, uh, do you want to do uh, penalties just in case? Yep. I don't think there'll be any change, but just in case. Baylocker is catching a little bit on Timonite, so there might be a battle there, but let's <coughs> see what there is. So, Odd Goonet, one penalty and one warning. Timonite, okay. two warnings. Oh, don't get another one. Locker. One penalty, two warners. Oh. Eagle. One warning for Eagle. Button clean as a whistle. Okay. Nice. Albon, three warnings, somehow. Three warnings, but no penalty. No penalty. Three pens for sim racing. No penalty for right. Radder. Two warnings. Timmer has got a couple of penalties. Very nice. So all stay as they are, actually. Again, I think Guna is just in that wonderful frame of mind where it's just actually keeping the gap. This this is actually where the danger the danger sets in because you then have nothing else really to occupy your mind. You don't really have a car around you, and that's when your concentration um, that that's when you lose concentration. Also, Ayrton Senna did it famously in Monaco, of all places, where he was really good at. Because he had, a, I think he had like a minute lead over um, second. And lost his, he just said, he said, he simply lost his concentration, he crashed it, so. It's not over, but. In doing all that he need to do, Jay Locker with a penalty that could be interesting for Eagle, potentially. Yeah, that's going to uh, hurt Locker. That might give Eagle third place. If Eagle gets within the gap. So, any fans of the Haas team in the chat at the moment because six laps away laps are just ticking ticking down for Guna really now nah, it's just the hashtag Tawip from Grunt he's not even part of the Tawip team your, your Renault team next year on Racing Point Traitor 
<laughs> yeah, good points again for Alpha, 5th and 7th. That will help in their overall constructors. Which I think is still going. I don't know whether Alpha have already won it or not. I wonder if the engineer is saying to Orguna top notch. Um, you have five laps left. You have four laps left. <laughs> it's like counting the laps down. Yeah, he could quite easily ease off a little bit. He's stretched out another second and a half of the Tim and Ike. Actually using a lot of his ERS. And Tim Knight in second. Actually, Eagle is within... You say Eagle was clean. I uh, can look. Uh-oh. Tim Knight gets a penalty. He's okay, though, because Locker has one. Yeah, Eagle has one more on. Yeah, so he's actually... He's, yeah, he's well within three seconds of his teammate Locker. Locker has a penalty. So Eagle will, mo will move back up to third if he keeps the gap. We may actually get him anyway. He's closing down. Here's a here's a question with e with Eagle and Locker here. Are they going to be team orders? Is Locker going to make this easy for him? Well, I think after the season Locker's had, I think he'll be uh, wanting that third place. Uh, He's technically he reserved. Yeah, he sent the key reserve, so he's not really. Uh... He doesn't really have any agendas if he's if he's a reserve. But I don't know if you would know the situation with Eagle. <coughs> yeah, it's an interesting oh, one. At thirty-two. And is catching. Open is catching button very slightly, but it doesn't seem to be enough. Still three seconds. Oh, Locker's got another penalty. Yeah, that's going to hurt two. Locker. That might even be Button that get him as well. Oh, yeah, because Button's, button's clean as well, isn't he? Yes, the podium is slipping away. Oh, yeah. Eagle! Button's clean as a whistle. Ooh. Eagle nearly spun it. Eagle seems... He's had a few spins here, here today, the Eagle. Almost had another one. Yeah, so both Eagle and Button will jump ahead of Locker at this point. Three laps to go for Guna. Still extending the gap. He's 12 seconds ahead. He's just uh, slapped Timmer. Yep, just got past Timmer, yep. <clears throat> right. What we think about Jive of the Day, I think we shall right um what do we think our three three nominations for driver of the day this one there's a few shouts there's i think timmer i mean timmer is a good shout because the fact you know he stayed stayed in the race could very easily have retired um then you got uh, Albums up nine places, so he's had a good job. Locker, Guna, Tim and Ike. Uh, what what three what three do you reckon top notch? I think I'd have to say Tim, uh, J Locker, and uh, hmm. I don't know about the third. Maybe Albon or Guna. I'd say, I'd say go to the third one. Yeah. I say go to the third one. So wait, so there's your free, there's a free chat. Tim out. 
Uh, J Locker and Odd Guna, cast your votes now. It will be closing at the end of the race. And gets another penalty. Still slowly chasing Button. He can see him. So fifth place is very possible. But also very possible as we could have a battle between the two McLarens on the last lap. Yeah, we sure could. Eagles close and lock her down. Pays in the chat is the three I said. Emma Locker or Guna. What's Locker going to do here? What's Locker going to do here for Eagle? Is he going to move across or is he going to battle him? I hope he battles him in a way. Yeah, while we're in his right to oh, He's defending. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Um, okay. Did he let him through or not? I'm, I'm not I sure. He tried to. <laughs> he sort he's of little, lunged him into the moment. corner. Okay. He just missed his brakes or whatever. It's now now got button behind it, but Eagles in the third anyway. That could have gone smoother. Is, yeah, is my that thought. Certainly could. <laughs> but they got away with it in the end. Very lucky T. <laughs> Odd Guna though. On his last lap. He's got Lauda in front of him. I'm sure Lauda will uh, be perfectly fine. The Knights to the second. Eagle still hanging on. Is Button going to be close enough? Don't think so, but I keep an eye on it. I'll go in a few more corners to go. He's done well, hasn't he, top notch? Yeah, he, he has since the incident. To be fair, he uh, yeah. keep, kept his head and. Uh, his opportunity. We get a yeah. nice little turn to finish has, the race. Yeah, all he has now is just move up the hill and he crosses the line to take the win in Brazil and clinch the Constructors' Championship for F5 for the Haas team. I'm sure they're going to be very, very happy with that. Tim and Ike crosses the line in second, keeps his championship hopes alive for the drivers. That goes to Abu Dhabi now. Eagle gets into third place ahead of uh, Button. Alban spun it across the line but still got fifth. What's happened there? Locker jumps down to sixth. Sim racing in his first race. I think he's going to get up seventh by the looks of it. Yep, seventh for sim racing. Oh, Ooh. and it <laughs> clowns into Lauda's car. Fair enough. Good way to end a race, and then Lauda's going to finish off those on the same lap. Is he going to hit the other park cars? There go. going to be a car park past the line. And. Oh, through hey, the middle. straight through the middle. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. Right, let me check Driver of the Day nominations. Let's have a look, see. Albon, Timmer, 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 Timmer. Timmer, Greener. Nice. So yeah, Timmer is driver of the day, as voted by the chat. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Timmer deserves that after a horrid race. Kept, it, kept, Very kept nice. the car on the track and uh, yeah, got some points. Right, yes, run us, run us through the results there, uh, 
top notch. In uh, first position, Odd Guna. In uh, second position, Tim and Ike. Third position, RSF on Eagle. Fourth position, RSF on Button. Fifth position, RSF on Albon. Sixth position, J Docker. Seventh position, Sim Racing. Eighth position, Louder. And then ninth position, Timmer. Very much. I scroll down. Because again, I nearly forgot to do that. But there we go. I, I need the. Uh, um, Timmer. Oh, yeah, go speak to Tim as well. Have you got Tim or shot? Have I got him? Yeah, I've, he's got an invite. Um, third position on the podium. Did he go get third? Eagle third, and then got Tim and Ike, and then, uh, you know, I just got Tim and Ike. Come on, Tim and Ike. I'm waiting on you. There we go. And plastic, right. Um, you do third, I'll do second, and you do the winner, top notch. Yeah, that's fine with me, mate. All right, take it away. So, third position today, uh, R. Stefan Eagle, mate. Good race for myself in a chaotic race. Uh, Qualifying, kept your head uh, reasonably calm, had a couple of incidents, but yeah, main thing is you kept it all together to get that podium, mate. Tell us how you uh, think your race went. Uh, I'm disappointed because I should have got first or, or at least second. Um, I don't know. The, the incident with the uh, virus, I think that's just a recent incident. We're both trying for the lead, and I think we just got tangled up on turn two. Uh, but after that, I was going to my mic, and I just lost the mirror end as you start to come up the hill, so that was totally my own fault. Uh, but I should probably really get this podium, because I know he, he could have overtaken me when he came up behind, but for some reason he didn't, so... Yeah, he should really be in, not me. Cool, mate, and uh, how do you feel going into the last race of the season? Abby, yes, Abby. it's not... It's not a favourite track of mine, I don't think it's a favourite track of anyone to be fair, it's just dull and uh, I'll do my best and just see what we can do. Well, mate, thank you very much. Uh, uh yeah, um yeah you got you got the podium. Um good for, good for you to say uh, between the incident with you and you and virus, um I wasn't I wasn't sure. Well I'll have a um, look, have a look I'm at on it. Again, but, yeah, I think it's just one of them things. Yeah. Um Unfortunately, obviously, I don't know if you knew the situation going into this uh, race in terms of the championship, but uh, third place is one point shy of yeah. what you needed, even with Kazzy's retirement. But but you you still got to be happy with your, your season as a whole, really. Um, still could be top three in the championship uh, quite um, easily, so still should be happy with that. But yeah, yeah see what you're doing in the last race. Yeah, fairly happy with the season overall. I think third place is pretty much guaranteed now, so I just um I don't know if our team likes ahead of me now, but it depends on obviously the last race might be able to nick second off him, but we'll see. Uh depends how to depends how results go, I think. Yeah. Um not sure. Yeah, uh, all the best in Abu Dhabi, good Cheers. Uh, and congrats on your third place. Oh. All right, moving on to second place, uh, Tim and Ike, the meme king himself. Um, well, congrats on your uh, second place. Um, but I actually want to just 
have your thoughts about the middle stint um, when you were seemed to be in a battle with Albon, it seemed, and, and he was going very long on those medium tyres. Obviously, it must have been uh, quite frus frustrating um, because uh, obviously he was due to pit and you wanted the clean air, but you managed you managed to get past him. And uh, obviously, with your situation, um, because of you, we have a championship decider in Abu Dhabi. Um, with your second place, so um, great for yourself. So you've got to be relatively happy. Yeah, definitely. Um, before I go any further, I just want to thank my boys again. They know who they are for helping me out every week and listening to my constant complaining throughout the race all the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, middle stint. Yeah, frustrating. Um, he was lagging around a little bit for me, so it just made it more difficult. I had to bide my time and pick the right place to do it. Um, and he was still pretty quick. I struggled as I went out the pits on the mediums, um, but they came back to me in the end. Um, and yeah, good result overall. Um, like you said, still got a championship battle on our hands. Whether I'll be able to, um, you know. Winner overall is another question. I think I'm, oh, I think I'm 12 points behind now, or something, something like that. So, yeah, something like that. Um, we'll have to see, but obviously, um, I'll give it my all as usual. But let me just got to stay clean. Let me just go to my um, to my Discord. I can tell you. Uh, so 18 points. Yeah, 12, 12 point gap. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. I mean, Abu Dhabi is not the most interesting of tracks. It's not one where the skill gap is very <coughs> wide. I think it's it's a relatively easy track to drive. It's just, you know... Um, so I think everyone will be pretty close time-wise. Um, it's just what happens in the race. Like, I, I got a bit lucky today, I think, with the, the fortunes of my rivals. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I enjoy I enjoy uh, the Division Five in particular, and I think we all have good races. So fair play to everyone on the grid um, who comes every week and races and races cleanly. And you know, mm. it's good. Uh, there's been points recently where things haven't been great, and uh, I won't go into detail with that. But it's hopefully it all goes on the up, and next season is even better than this one. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Um, the positives outweigh the negatives, is my feel. But it's obviously disappointing to have those negatives. But yeah, positives definitely outweigh the negatives. It's been it's been good fun. I mean, I've watched I've watched F5. Obviously, not commentated on it much, but watched F5. It's been entertaining. Um, tonight was no exception. Um, drama aplenty, plenty, so all good. Um, but yeah, all the best in your uh, quest in uh, Abu Dhabi. Thank you very much. And then to our race winner, uh, top notch. Take it away. Race there, mate, and uh, odd gear, mate. Uh, good win from yourself. Get, get yourself, get yourself in it with the old uh, good qualifying. And uh, yeah, take your opportunities in the race. See, see a couple of cars have misfortune in front of you. Come home with a win, mate. Let us know how you feel that went.
Uh, good luck, mate. Good luck. And uh, going into Abu Dhabi, um, knowing that Haas is now, I think Haas has now clinched the title. Instructors. Yep. So, yeah, that one's out of the way. You haven't really got to worry about that anymore. So, uh, how do you feel about the next race without that? one and Brando, you got anything to ask oh no um yeah covered covered very nicely um yeah congratulations on your unconstructed championship win um you needed uh to outscore Renner by 18 you've got 25 so yeah definitely done and dusted if my maths are correct i believe they are anyway um but yeah have a good uh, final race in Abu Dhabi um yeah, definitely done really good. Um, yeah, it's definitely a fo following on from what you said, obviously, of the standard um, or the racing, etc. Um, the fact that this is our first championship decided, and you know, we've got Abu Dhabi coming up, it says we have done something right. So, yeah, not much, not much we can say for certain, but um, yeah, good luck in Abu Dhabi. It's fine. It's fine. All good. Um, well, that's that's it. That was a very dramatic race there, top notch. You commentators curse, I think, from yourself, because I said, you know, I said, could it could it be done? And you said, oh, it'll be there'll be drama. There'll be a twist. You have yeah, to get in drive for the day, Mike. Mike. I'll drive for the day. Sorry. Go on. Take take away. That's you. <laughs> it's meant to be you. Meant to be me. Uh, Timmer, <laughs> are you there? I am indeed. Yeah, uh, yeah, driver of the day, as voted by the chat. Um, so, yeah, congratulations on that. And I must say, um, it is definitely a big congratulations to you because um, many, many people will have retired in your situation, a lap down, and, you know, far from the guy or the driver in front of you. Um, but you st you stuck at it. You stuck at it, and you got two points um, with it as well. So definitely, definitely very well. Um, yeah, what can you what can you say about your race? Um, not now. Just sort of really trying to mop up from the start there. Um, had a bit of a collision with another driver who just rear-ended me into a wall. So that's how I ended up with no wing. Um, other than that, my my race was pretty uneventful. Other than trying to stay out of um, the other guy's way, kind of being a blue flag, so um, look at it, it is what it is, and uh, I just really want to try and finish the season without being last, maybe, would be would be nice, um, this last race. You're definitely be. not last. Um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, look at your... We'll uh, put the head down and try and try and push on to for Abu Dhabi. Um, that's 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 all there is really. Yeah. Um. What what are you thinking thinking about Abu Dhabi? Obviously, on the floodlights as well. So it'd be a a fitting way to finish up. Yeah. Five. So you know, what, what do you think about? Hopefully, the top two, top four or five guys give give it a a good go, and the championship comes down to the wire. Um. Be nice to see that happening um and if i can get in the way in any way shape or form that would be class as well you know um just to throw a spanner in the works you know <laughs> <laughs> well, um, make my day for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, no no I, i'm looking forward to Abu Dhabi. look at there's I don't, there's no track i don't like on uh, per, per se on the game so i just enjoy racing yeah uh 
What are your thoughts about, uh, are you returning next season, first of all? Um, at the moment, I am probably not. Oh, okay. Th yeah. That'll be a real shame if, if you do, but... Yeah. I hope you'll be, be, you'll be back rest, soon uh, if it's next, not. Next, yeah, hopefully, yeah. Uh, I'll be still in the league in some capacity, I just might be resting. Fair enough, but yeah, if it is your last race, hopefully it's a good one. Yeah, exactly. Yes, and thanks, guys. All right. Yeah. Been All right, so congratulations on driving the day. Thanks, man. Oh, well, that was, yeah, that was a very dramatic race there, Top Notch. Um, nothing more to be said, apart from the fact we do have a championship finale next week in F5. Um, whoever co commentates on it will be doing the decider under the floodlights for F5, so it should be a spectacle to watch. Yeah, it sure will be, and the uh, constructors goes to the hat tonight. Yes, and uh, yep, yeah, and a very big congratulations to them and everybody involved in the F5 uh, Haas team. A very well deserved championship. So that's it for F5 for this week. As I said, Abu Dhabi will be their finale. Uh, they don't have a rerun, so that will be the end of the season for F5. As for Brazil, we have one more race to show for you, and that is the F3 championship. And definitely a very tight uh championship battle going on in there obviously top notch will be uh driving um in the comms box i believe at the moment is junior with somebody at the moment but uh we will have that covered for you uh tomorrow eight o'clock is the time hopefully you can join us and then the first abu dhabi race will be this sunday on the f2 championship where we have a decider in that one so yeah, all good. Um, but from everyone else here, um, your top three, third place for RSF Ron Eagle in the McLaren, second, Tim and Ike in the Racing Point, uh, first, Oguna in the Haas, driver of the day, Timmer. Um, I've been RSF Ron Brunner with Michael Patrick, top notch. Pleasure as always. Well, yeah, it is Brunner, mate. Um, and as always, take care and uh, see you next time.